welcome back to Spotlight Online! It's time to recap our three simple rules. Let's say it together. I can listen, I can participate, I can have fun! Awesome! Before we worship God together, let's tell God how much we love Him. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for loving us so much. This morning, we want to tell you how grateful we are to be called your children. As we sing out loud from the bottom of our hearts, we pray that you will be glorified in our worship to you. In Jesus' name we pray, and everybody say, Amen! Children, let's worship the Lord with this song. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Let's sing it together. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh my soul. Worship His holy name. Sing like this. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Let's sing it together. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh my soul. Worship His holy name. Sing like never before. O oh my soul. Worship Your holy Let's sing the second verse. You're rich in love and you're slow to anger. Your name is great and your heart is kind. For all your goodness I will keep on singing. Ten thousand reasons for my heart. 
Bless the Lord of my soul. Bless the Lord of my soul. Oh, my soul. Worship His holy name. Sing like never. Sing like never. Worship your holy name. Bless you, Lord. Oh yes, we want to worship God with all of our hearts and praise the Lord with our souls. So, children, let's come to God and surrender everything to God as we worship Him. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's sing. The third stanza together now. And on that day when my strength is failing, the end draws near and my time has come. Still, my soul will sing your praise unending. Ten thousand years and then. Let's sing. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul. Worship His holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul. I worship Your holy name. Bless the Lord one more time. Sing like never before, and sing it with all our hearts. Let's do that right now. Sing like never before, oh my soul. I worship Your holy name, Jesus. I will worship Your holy name. One last time. Worship Your. Praise the Lord. It's Bible story time. Hello, children. If you have been following the series, the story of Elijah gets even more exciting today. As we read on in 1 Kings chapter 18, we see a face-off between the god of Elijah and the false god Baal on Mount Carmel. There has been no rain for three years and King Ahab is now getting anxious because famine was spreading. The animals were dying and the people were hungry. Let's see what happens next in today's lesson. What shall we do today? Popcorn! For me? A challenge? Ah! I see you have received my challenge. Hello, children. Hey, Rico. This is from you? Yep. So, are you up for the challenge or are you afraid to lose? Who's afraid to lose? You? Ah, all right. Let's compete in a seven second challenge. All right. We are to complete the task given to us by spinning this wheel here. And each task needs to be completed in seven seconds and whoever is first to complete five tasks wins. If we land on the white spaces, we will have to drink this cup of forfeit. But if we land on the orange space, we will get one free point. So, shall we begin? All right! 
Let's go, you first. I shall go first. Spin, spin, spin. Spinny, spinny, spin, spins. All right, that's 22. Number 22. Ah, sing the song, hit shoulders, knees and toes with action. All right, let's do this in seven seconds. All right, let so we go. My, let me get my timer, let me get timer. my timer. All right, and your time starts now. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees, oh. I oh no! I failed! I failed! <laughs> I failed! I did! I thought that was easy, it was not! Alright, so Rico zero, still zero. That was unfortunate. Okay, oh. Alina, you are up. Spin, All right. spin, spin, spin. My turn! Uh, number 19! Number 19! I love this one! Oh no! Spell Singapore. Backwards and your time starts now. E R O P A G N I S. Did I get it right? I think you did. I think you did. Yes! One I point won. to One Alina. Point. What is going on? Well done. Well I'm done. I'm a Singaporean. <laughs> <laughs> and so am I. And so am I. Spinny, spinny, spin, spins. Let's see. Go, Rico. Go, Rico. Oh. The cup. Of forfeit. So do I drink the whole cup? Everything. Everything. Oh man, the cup of forfeit. Here we go. Looks delicious. Oh, Ooh, is it bad? <laughs> this is so horrible. I don't want to land on the white spaces. How is it? Nice. Do not land on the first or the white <laughs> spots, okay? Alina, your turn. Go. All right. I hope you get a white spot. No, no white spaces. Let's see, let's see. Oh, 10. Number, number 10? 10. Number 10. Let me find number 10. <laughs> I love this. Oh, this is bad, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Repeat red lorry, yellow lorry five times. All right, your time starts now. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. And she made it! Well done! Well done! Yeah, I'm easing this, Rico. <laughs> you are easing it. Oh, you're doomed! And, and to think that I got you on this challenge. This is crazy. Come on, Rico, you've got to do better. Let's go, see. go, 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 go. What's Number this? 11. 11. Let's see what's Number 11. 11. Ha, I Let got it this. Be something All I right. can do. Name three colors that are not in the rainbow. And your time starts now. Black, <laughs> white, and gray. All right, you got it. Yes. <laughs> One point for Rico. <laughs> Finally gets himself on the scoreboard. <laughs> Alina, your turn is yeah. now. My turn. Let's see. What's this? Oh no! The cup of forfeit! Oh my turn. Everybody cheer her on as she drinks the cup of forfeit. Oh dear. Oh, it's gross. Oh no. You this look, is bad. This is so bad. Oh you my look gosh. like you're enjoying it. Oh really? Yeah. Cheers, guys. White Cheers. again. White again. <laughs> so anyway, no one's keeping score. The score is 2-1. 2-1, I'm losing, but it's okay. Um, is it my turn? It's my turn. Yes. Let's go again. Something I can win, please. Wait, wait. Almost. <laughs> oh, <laughs> seven. That's seven. number seven. seven. Ha. So, Rico, name three animals starting with the letter win. L. And your time starts now. Lion, lioness, and liger. Hey, that's I easy. win. <laughs> that's cheating. I am so good at this. Two all. No one's keeping score, but all it's right. okay. Two all. Rico, extra one point. Oh, you are so kind. Thank you. Alina, full of grace. <laughs> Okay. Whoever's keeping score, Alina has given me a grace point. 3-2. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alina. All right. Why don't you use spinsies? My turn. Spinsy, spinsies. No white, no white, no white, no white. And you get to enjoy the cup of forfeit. Such a reminder of what Life the Lord has great. done. great. Amen. Amen, amen. In the same way that the cup did not go by Jesus, the oh, cup does not go by Alina. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm done. Oh 
gross. No go. No go. Ew. No go. All right. Turn. Anyway, three, two to me. Still, spinny, spinny, spin, spins. Yes. No white. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, white. Yes. <laughs> white for Rico. And the cup of forfeit goes to you. Here we go. Second time. Second yeah. time. Everybody, the cup. All right, Alina. Okay. Three, two. Still you. Let's go. Let's try to win this, somebody. <gasps> I almost did. Oh no. Okay, I got it. I need a refill. How about we do this? Let's just think on the fly. Alina, bite this lemon. <gasps> this is your lemon now. Bite this lemon. <laughs> and what do I do? <laughs> oh no. Okay, you bite the lemon and then you say, I got a white space. Try to say it with a lemon in your mouth. This is this is worse, I tell you. Mm. I got a white space. <laughs> oh, this is bad. That is so unfortunate. Oh, it's so sour. That is so unfortunate. Okay, you can put oh, that down. Ew. All right, the score is still three two. I don't know what's wrong with this wheel, but let's try to win this in some way or form. No white space. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon slice for you. <laughs> Cheers. High in vitamin C. Good for you. Good for your body. Yums. I landed on a white space. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you just <laughs> going on, but it's okay, white space. <laughs> just say that yourself. Okay, we've got refills. But I, I don't want to land on white spaces anymore. I landed anymore. on a white space. I landed on a white space. <laughs> Alright, Alina, you are up. Spinny, spinny, spin, spins. You landed. Yes, yes, yes. You it's got four. four. I love this. Okay, you've got seven seconds to balance <laughs> that empty bottle right there on thy head. Alright, so go for it. Uh, your time, your time, your time starts uh, now. Uh, mm -hmm. Go for it, go for it. You no. got two seconds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you failed. Oh, no. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. Yeah, no, I can imagine. I can imagine. <laughs> All right. So the score is score master. Four three. two. Why is it four, four two? two? I get I get a point because you lost. All oh, right. No, it's still no, three two. No, it's still three two. It's still three two. I didn't get okay, that. let's go. No, no, no white spaces for us today. Let's see. Let's go. It's meant for you, Rico. More cups. <laughs> For you! <laughs> oh dear! I apologize. Or up. Good job! Spin, ah, spin, spin, spin! White space! No! It's 22. 22! 22! You got to sing exactly what I failed at. Sing the song, head and shoulders, knees and toes. Alright, With to actions, with actions. Let's try this. Alright, we're about to start. Start in 3, 2, 1, go! Hey, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Hey, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Hey, shoulders, knees and toes. Oh no! <laughs> I think you made it. I think you made it. I didn't even know that was the, the other, other other part yeah. of the song. Okay, everyone, the score is three all. I don't know what's going on here, but we We're seem to be doing very very well. We are progressing. It's three all now. Bam bam bams. Spinny spinny spin spin. Something yes. Yes. What Ooh, number is that? That's eight. The number okay, let's eight. see. Eight. Ha. Huh. Okay, I got this. Come, Rico. You need to spell Elijah backwards. And your time starts now. H A J I L E. Wow, that was easy. That was yes, easy. I am one point away from winning. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Spinny, spinny, spin, spins. Okay, let's see. What's next? Yes, yes, yes. Eight. Eight. No, it's exactly the same one, isn't it? So you now have to spell Elijah backwards. Okay. All right, and your time starts now, Z's. H A J I L E. And you got it! Yay! 
for all, for all, what a close game match this is. Match point, match point. Match point, Rico. Let's hope it's something Bad. I can do. Yellow. Yellow. I can do. Get out. White, white space. Yes. Get it's, out. I told you, <laughs> it's meant for you. Us. What is going on? All right, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go. Sugar content too high. <laughs> No. Oh, you yes. got number two. So you, what you need to do right now is that you need to do five. Oh no, I have to do it. You gotta do it. I got to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, read, read out, read out to people. The second player, i.e., to say myself, needs to do um, jumping jacks. Five sets of jumping jacks with no points. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Forfeit. All right. Forfeit. All right. One, two, three. Four and five, and that's how you keep fit, young people. All right, there awesome. we go. Awesome sauce. Your okay, turn. my turn. Come on, let it be something we can win. Wow, you <laughs> almost <did. laughs> drink a drink again. You almost Seven. got it. Seven. Oh yes. Oh no, you can't say the same. I answer. can't say the same one. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> he got seven. Okay. He got he got seven earlier. Okay, let's see. So Rico, you are supposed to name three animals starting with the letter L. No <laughs> lion, no lioness, none of those. I In seven know. seconds and your time <laughs> starts now. Leopard, lizard, and definitely not lemon. And what? Perfect. <laughs> hey. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. All right, spinny, spinny, spin, spins. Okay, let's see. Drink it. <laughs> yes, for forfeiture. <sighs> forfeiture once again. The cup of forfeiture. This would be the best drink ever. Yeah. But it's still for all. And I'm gonna try to win it this time without having to drink a cup of forfeiture. Almost, you almost did. <laughs> what is for you to get to balance the empty Let's bottle? Let's see. All oh right. So you've got to balance this bottle on your head. It wasn't right. easy. It wasn't easy, you said. Yep. I hope it's gonna spoil my. I've, I've kind of got good and hair your time today. Starts now. It doesn't look leveled on your head. It does not. Because of your hair. Oh, oh my gosh, that's a miracle. <gasps> You got it! Alright, you got yes, it! Yes! I win! <laughs> Hair right. product. And Rico wins the game! Yes, yes, yes! My mind literally went blank from the first two seconds of each round. It was nerve wracking. You never know who's gonna win until it's over. Well, that's right. You won't know who's going to be the winner until the end. Anyway, you were sharing with me about the story of Elijah. So what happens in 1 Kings chapter 18? Elijah issued a challenge to the prophets of Baal, just like you did to me. But this challenge wasn't your typical fight between men to men. But instead, it was a challenge between the god of Elijah and Baal, the false god. Wow. Let's see what the Bible says in 1 Kings chapter 18, verses 1 to 40. After a long time in the third year, the word of the Lord came to Elijah, Go and present yourself to Ahab, and I will send rain on the land. So Elijah went to present himself to Ahab. While Elijah left Zarephath and traveled south into the land of Israel, where King Ahab had been searching for him, the people in Samaria, where King Ahab lived, were desperate for food and water. They had prayed to Baal, thinking that this false god controlled the weather and the harvests. King Ahab called his palace administrator, Obadiah, and said, Go to all the springs and valleys in the land. Maybe we can find some grass to keep the horses and mules alive. So King Ahab and Obadiah went in opposite directions, searching for water supplies. Now, Obadiah was a believer who trusted in the Lord. When Queen Jezebel ordered the Lord's prophets to be killed, he hid 100 of them in two caves and secretly supplied them with food and water. 
As Obadiah was walking along, he suddenly met Elijah. Obadiah recognized him and bowed down to the ground in disbelief. He said, Is it really you, Elijah? Then Elijah replied, Yes, now go and tell your master, I am here. When King Ahab finally met Elijah, he said to him, Is that you, troubler of Israel? To which Elijah replied, I have not made trouble for Israel, but you and your father's family have. You have abandoned the Lord's commands and have followed the Baals. Now summon the people from all over Israel to meet me on Mount Carmel and bring the 450 prophets of Baal and the 400 prophets of Asherah who eat at Jezebel's table. So Ahab sent word throughout all Israel and assembled the prophets on Mount Carmel. Elijah addressed a large crowd on Mount Carmel and said, How long will you waver between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal is God, follow him. But the people said nothing. Then Elijah continued, I am the only one of the Lord's prophets left. But Baal has 450 prophets. Get two bulls for us. Let Baal's prophets choose one for themselves and let them cut it into pieces, put it on the altar of wood, but they must not set fire to it. I will prepare the other bull and put it on the altar of wood, but not set fire to it. Then you call on the name of your God, and I will call on the name of the Lord, the God who answers by fire. He is God. The people agreed to the contest. The prophets of Baal chose their bull, cut it into pieces, and placed it on the wood on their altar. From morning until noon, they danced around the altar shouting, Baal, answer us! But there was no answer. At noon, Elijah began to taunt them. Shout louder, he said. Surely he is a god. Perhaps he is deep in thought or busy or traveling. Maybe he is sleeping and must be awakened. So they shouted even louder and slashed themselves with swords and spears as was their custom until their blood flowed. Midday passed and Baal did not send fire. They became more frantic and continued pleading to Baal until evening, but there was no response, no one answered, no one paid attention. Elijah then gathered the people around him and repaired the altar of the Lord that had been torn down. Elijah took twelve stones and dug a trench around it. Then he sacrificed the bull and placed the meat on the wood. Elijah then gave a strange order. Fill four jars with water and pour it on the offering and on the wood. When they had done that, Elijah ordered them to do it again. And then a third time. Altogether, twelve large jars were poured over the altar and the water ran down to fill the trench. At the time of the evening sacrifice, Elijah prayed, Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known today that you are God in Israel and that I am your servant and have done all these things at your command. Answer me, Lord, so these people will know that you are God and that you are turning their hearts back to you again. Suddenly, the fire of the Lord fell and burned up the sacrifice, the wood, the stones, and the soil, and also licked up the water in the trench. When all the people saw this, they fell face down to the ground and cried, The Lord, He is God! The Lord, He is God! Then Elijah gave orders for the false prophets of Baal to be seized and taken down to Kishon Valley, where they were put to death so that they could no longer mislead people into evil ways forbidden by God. And we have a winner! The Lord triumphed over the false god Baal, and the people realized their folly and returned to the Lord. But whew, what an intense showdown on Mount Carmel. I knew God was going to win. Me too! Baal didn't stand a chance at all. In fact, when Elijah ordered 12 jars of water to be poured over the wood, 
everyone knew that it was physically impossible for the fire to burn. So when the fire of the Lord fell and burned up the sacrifice, it was without a doubt that it could only be the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel at work. Yep. Rico, there is still something I don't understand. Don't the people of Israel already know the Lord? Why do they believe in the false god Baal? I don't think it's because they do not know God, but rather I think it's because they had a divided heart. They did not love God wholeheartedly as God had called them to. Mm. This challenge that Elijah presented to the prophets of Baal was a clear demonstration of his faith in the Lord. And Elijah was clearly outnumbered. There were 850 prophets of Baal and Asherah, but there was only one Elijah. Yet with God, these numbers meant nothing. And that's not all. Elijah gave the prophets of Baal a six hours head start. That was clearly an advantage. So, from this amazing fire encounter, we know that God is not looking for fancy processions like what the prophets of Baal did. Our God is looking for faith and an undivided heart that loves Him wholeheartedly. So together, let's trust and love the Lord our God with all our heart, all our soul, all our mind, and all our strength. Today, we learned four important things that Elijah did. Number one, he repaired the altar. The altar is a symbol of worship, and it was clear that the people of Israel stopped worshipping the Lord because the altar of God was torn down. As the Lord calls you today, restore that altar of worship in your family so that we will never stop praising God. Number two, he prepared the sacrifice. In the same way as Elijah laid the sacrifice on the altar, God is asking us to commit ourselves fully to Him in total surrender. Number three, he depended on God. By pouring water all over the wood and the sacrifice, Elijah was honest and real before the people of Israel about the challenge. There were no tricks, only Elijah's dependence on God to send fire down. And number four, he prayed a declaration of faith. Elijah's confidence was centered on God and everything God commanded him to do. With that, he prayed a faith-filled prayer, drawing from the spiritual authority of the Lord. What's today's activity? Children, we have some activity worksheets prepared for you online. Simply download the activity worksheets at the link below. If you wish to share your reflections with us, you can email us at spotlight at lighthouse.org.sg. Don't forget to like this video and share with your friends too. It's always amazing to share our faith with others and be the light of Christ to those around us. In everything that we've learned from the life of Elijah, we see the love that he has for the Lord. Do you sense what God is speaking to you today, children? God is calling all of us to worship Him wholeheartedly. Let's commit ourselves to the Lord in prayer. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you that we can always place our confidence in you because you are faithful and all-knowing. Teach us to love you more and more each day so that we will always put you first in our lives. Today, we surrender ourselves to you and we want to say we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody says, Amen! Join us next week for more episodes in the Days of Elijah series. Stay tuned for the quiz challenge right after this. Let's see how much you've learned in today's lesson. It's time for quiz challenge! Are you ready for five simple questions? Here we go! Why did the people of Israel pray to the false god Baal? They were forced by King Ahab. They believed that Baal could control the weather and harvest. They believed that Baal is the god of fire. They were afraid of Queen Jezebel. And the answer is, they believed that Baal could control the weather and harvest. From morning until noon, what did the prophets of Baal do around the altar? They roasted the bull and ate it. They danced around the altar and sang religious songs. They danced around the altar and pleaded loudly for their God to answer. 
They rested, for they were too tired after climbing Mount Carmel. And the answer is, they danced around the altar and pleaded loudly for their God to answer. What was the first thing Elijah did to prepare for the miracle of fire? He gathered some wood. He hunted for the bull. He prayed to God. He repaired the altar. And the answer is, he repaired the altar. How many jars of water did Elijah pour on the offering and the wood? 10 jars, 11 jars, 12 jars, 13 jars. And the answer is 12 jars. And now for the last question. What happened after the fire of the Lord fell? The people of Israel fell face down to the ground in repentance and cried. The prophets of Baal scattered in all directions because they were afraid. The people of Israel ran away in hiding. An angel appeared to the prophets of Baal. And the answer is, the people of Israel fell face down to the ground in repentance and cried. And that's the end of today's lesson. See you next week!